Sitting here this morning with head women's soccer coach John Collin. John, team's coming off one game this past week, Old Dominion at home Saturday, a tough 2-2 draw, um, head late and then gave up a goal late as well. Um, just looking back at that game, just your thoughts. Well, you know, first of all, it was senior night, and I always think senior night is, a, is an emotional night. Um, and, you know, obviously, you, as players, you, you want to celebrate the player, those seniors and, and uh, put on a performance that they'll be proud of and the team will be proud of. And it's difficult at times sometimes to get your emotions really back on track after a celebration of throughout the day. But I thought we did a phenomenal job of settling into the game well. Um, getting a great early goal through one of our seniors, Amanda Jones, and that put us in a good situation. And I thought, for the most part, we managed the game correctly. Um, and then, obviously, we gave up a free kick, and we've looked at that on, uh, on film, and we didn't do a particularly good job with the first ball or second ball in. So we've got to improve there. Um, we've got to do a better job with dealing with crosses and free kicks. Um, and then, you know, like you said, we got ourselves back in front. Uh, not a great goal. Um, good early ball from Jess Ryan. Martha slipped in behind and you know, lofted the ball over the keeper's head um, to put us 2-1 up with, you know, minutes on the clock. Um, and that's the disappointment for us. We, sh we need to see that game out from that standpoint. We need to be smarter and more experienced about managing the situations. Um, and, you know, obviously it was a phenomenal strike by Hogan on ODU to put it in the top corner. But I still feel somewhere in, in the early part of that build-up, we've got to eliminate that possibility of a shot. Um, but overall, you know, senior night, it was a great game. Like everything you expect in a conference game, 2-2 matchup, a point that hopefully will be a good point for both teams when looking back at the end of the season. Two weeks to go in regular season. Uh, conference race is very tight. Um, we're currently tied for second behind North Texas, who we play this weekend. Um, but without emphasizing it too much to the players, how do you get that message across that every game is important from here on out, especially with us hosting the tournament? Well, I mean, I look at it right now mathematically. I think there's about 13 schools out of the 14 that can all qualify for the uh, conference tournament. So until we're mathematically assured of being in the tournament, um, that's our immediate goal. Um, you know, obviously, the fact that we're hosting it, we want to be in it. We'd love to be in it. Um, but we have to get the points first. That's going to secure that berth. So we're not looking at anything other than just trying to get as many points as we can from the weekend. Um, we know the quality of teams we're playing this weekend are at the top end of the table. North Texas and Rice are having phenomenal seasons, not just conference seasons, but non-conference seasons. Uh, North Texas, um, a very formidable opponent, especially at home. Um, Well-coached team, and they got the better of us twice last year. So we know we're in for a difficult weekend. And then Rice last year, who I felt like had a great year, comp especially considering all the horrific injuries they had, to still stay competitive and get in the tournament. So their coaching staff did a, an outstanding job last year, getting their team in a position to be in the tournament with all the injuries. And now they've got those players back, and you can see what kind of a season they're having. So we've got to go in there and try and get as many points as we can. And until we get the right amount of points that we know we're in, that's our only focus right now. You've touched on the teams already, but and we've talked about this last week a little bit. Um, Texas road trip is always a tough trip uh, going far out there. North Texas, you played out there last year. Rice, you didn't play at all last year, but you were on campus for the conference tournament out there. Um, two familiar settings in that sense. Um, just talk about the road trip out there, and especially this time of year. Yeah, it's our last road trip, and um, you know we've done a lot of traveling this year, so at least we're uh, experienced enough uh, to know what it takes to go on the road and play. I mean, if you look at our conference away games, we've gone to Western Kentucky and found a way to win. We've gone to FIU and found a way to win. Um, in non-conference, we've gone to tough places like Clemson and, and found the draw. So we're North Texas and Rice, so two you know excellent teams having great seasons. Um, I think the fact that we've travelled a lot this year won't phase us at all. We'll be more than uh, you know comfortable going into those places. And like you said, we went to North Texas last year and played, and we have an idea of the surroundings and the pitch and how it plays. And at the tournament last year at Rice, we got to play two games on their surface. So it's just more about you know on the day doing the right things, doing the basics correctly, individuals doing their job, and cohesively being a tough team to beat. All right, John. Good luck this weekend. Two tough games, but four nine. I'm sure we'll be up to the task. Thank you. Appreciate it, Travis.